Hey, it's Alan from Hack Gadgets here. Live at CES, we're going to be taking a look in the Murata booth. Let's go and see what they have to offer. All right, so today we're going to basically be showing Murata's uh, technology in regards to um, its wireless charging devices. Um, just in general, Murata is a wireless, uh, or excuse me, a components manufacturer. Basically, uh, experiencing manufacturing components level products. So what we're going to show today basically is an in-use unit using Murata's charger, uh, receiver, and transmitter. Um, and basically, these are based on wireless uh, capacitive technology. So a lot of the units that are made today are inductive based. So the module that you see here basically uh, is our receiver. Um, the other one is our transmitter. And so what we've done basically is implemented these two devices into, uh, right here on the side here, you have a Kindle um, that we've made an in-use device for, where basically on the bottom you have the, uh, the receiver module inside of the bottom. Um, and on the back here you have an electrode. What happens with the pad, and if you can see kind of clearly, if we remove the uh, pads from the table here, what you have, the unit goes by in standby. Once you set it back on, basically you're going into a charging status. One of the, the advantages of doing an inductive type charging, uh, disadvantages in inductive and an advantage in, in capacitive, is that for inductive, what you're doing, basically you have to be over the entire coil. Capacitive, basically we can be anywhere on the board. And so what that does, it creates a basically an advantage of being able to mount or set the product down and charge the unit. Um, as you can see here, this is where it's set up for the Kindle. This one here is set up for the iPad. So, for example, this unit here, basically, is using capacitive technology also. Um, the case that's around it is set up where the electrodes in the back. Around the side, you have the metal terminal or metal touch contact point. And so what that does, when we set it inside of the unit here, um, in this case, portrait, the contact tells the unit that it is charging. You start charging, you see the blue dot at the bottom. We can go horizontal with this, our portrait style, or excuse me, um, landscape style. Once you go in that style, it's the same thing. So the unit actually does the same setup as the uh, other um, uh, Kindle tablet there. Um, the other thing too, um, there's a other manufacturer we work with also to develop a uh, wireless capacitive charging table also. So we have a couple of different products which we've implemented using our module uh, internally. So as an advantage, what basically, as I mentioned, the capacitive nature of these modules allows us to be able to set the unit at any point on the board. Don't have to worry about trying to be in any specific position as an inductive charger. And we're also able to um, make these individual devices on a module scale. And if there's any interest on a, for a designer to implement these, we can make that module for them to use.